on your mark. Get set. Dan and Paolo begin. Tyler, begin. Welcome back to the greatest two minutes in sports. <laughs> we have a lot of jokes, so we're going to talk fast. Yeah, yeah, this, is, this is, I mean, these guys are all veterans. This is Paolo's first time in an A final, but Paolo won the B division last year. He was he, smart enough to wear one of the answers on his feet. Exactly. <laughs> Adidas clued brilliantly in the A puzzle as an uh, um, international brand that consists of the founder's first name and the first three letters of his last. So either you know that or you... you or you learned it. it. Or you learned it's it great along the way. Uh, I remember one of the first times I was here uh, and Dan was the champion and he was joking that he would now have four trophies to use as Matzo ball soup dishes for his Seder. Yep. And I'm wondering now if he's trying to have a setting of eight. He's going for the setting of eight, no question. Since 2005, either Tyler or Dan have been, or both have been in the finals. Uh, Tyler had a run of five in a row. Dan has also had a five in a row run and back and forth. Tyler unseated Dan last year in person. So this is, and Paolo has just been up and coming. I, okay, we'll try to speak louder. Does that help? Oh, you missed the best material that we had. <laughs> okay. But we'll it's try. Um, I, Dan did exactly what I figured all three of these people would do, which is start on the upper left. And then act move across. And just move down. Because the upper left, I think, is, is relatively easy. But Tyler, Tyler, well, Tyler, don't get on the right. He's a disruptor. Don't you know that? He's a disruptor. <laughs> Tyler, Tyler looks like he knows Kinsey scale, which yes. is one of the keys to get. It's not the Ainsey scale as we had in an earlier round, and it, it crosses Joseph uh, Antal, so you want to All the, you all the know ones that. you know just off the top of your head. Um, Paolo has done, uh, where we have Linnet and Nip, he's got N slash S, so he's sort of leaving that. It's one of these two. I've never seen that technique before, while you write a little brainstorming yep. in the corner. It's just like, this is, this is what it should be. Dan, very solid with Linnet, and I'll tell you why. Because yes. there's a famous song in Sweeney Todd, Green Finch and Linnet Bird. And so Dan, oh. who, is, who is currently keyboard player for Hamilton in Toronto, and got leave to come down here for the weekend, will know that. Um, I don't know if that has any logical sense, what you just said, but I like it. <laughs> I'm just going to say, Cam, if, if you want to throw Old World Finch out of your book it would and be say, because you have a Sweet Todd song, uh -huh. Burn, you got it. I, get a I love the uh, 34 across. In, here it is extremely hard. It's a handful. It's a handful. And the answer is rain. rain. R -E -I -N. That is, that is uh, I would just like to fully admit my uh, handful was a nickname given to me by an ex-boyfriend. <laughs> I think, I feel, uh, yeah, he never right. did take the rain. I'll yeah, tell you that much. <laughs> Dan has got the entire uh, sort of upper left, di you know, half of the puzzle. Yeah. Um, Paolo was just nailing. What is that? Oh, thing? yes. He's got oh, it's Talk to shop. He's got Kinsey scale. It's very close. Yeah, very, very close. Dan was way ahead. Paolo hit the gas. Paolo, I mean, Paolo just said, okay, I, now I'm going to start solving and just fill That's right. Hand. And although he is using uppercase E's, they are not uh, made up of three strokes. He's doing it. He's doing it very quickly. Yes, he's doing it very quickly. He just put in calmer, but he is not calmer. He's got Adidas, which he's wearing. Yeah, that's good. Not even a glance down. That's how you know it's a professional. <laughs> Dan is very close to that last lower. All right. Quiet. He got on tap. Can he get the extra one up top? That's now a so, and a And Paolo would he'd be very happy if he got the linnet bird, because then he would get live bands. Which sure. Is it. Live bands. He's got a go Clued as many to start to in garages. <laughs> <laughs> I would say end, but. Um, <laughs> end in garages. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he got it. He, he filled it, it in. 
and he, oh my goodness, this is it, everybody. This is, we're down to just a couple of squares for both of them. Oh, Ooh. don't take a step back. That's costing you time, Powell. Come on. Oh, yes, yes. He's at Monterey, and he doesn't know the actor. Is it Mackay or Pukai? And is it Madre or Padre? I love that people are yelling out to you. Yes, what do you want to do? Yes, we believe in you. Dan's working on Hear us through. Before we started, um, Will said, Will said, uh, this, this extra five second so thing is so silly. Why do we have that? That's exactly and why, that's we, why have we have it. That's that's why we have it. They started with the exact same, they were tied, right? They were we tied. No time advantage. But imagine if one of them had been a minute slower, would have had a five second yeah, disadvantage. Second. Boom, that would have been, would have been the difference. Yep. That's amazing. And, and when we take a quick look at the yeah, the judges will check those puzzles. Um, our children are still somewhere else in the hotel. That's okay. We're just taking our time here. Uh, I will tell you just a little little fun thing. Do you have a do you have a pet? I don't have a pet. Yes. You, have your children asked you for a dog? Or? We had a cat. The cat died last okay. year. Thanks well, that for bringing that up. That was a fun story. <laughs> uh, my son wants a dog. I told him, no, not in this economy. Eggs are $10 a dozen. We're not getting a dog. We're getting a chicken, everybody. We're getting a chicken. I bought eggs that said, not free range, they said partial outdoor access. <laughs> and I was like, that's my apartment. We have that. Exactly. Life in New York City, partial outdoor access. <laughs> outdoor, access. <laughs> outdoor access. We've really dialed down the expectations. All right, he is. I remember this happening once more with Tyler, and, I, and he just he kind of looked at us like we're taking our time. He did us. have a little bit of a dance a minute ago. Yeah. Where he was just like, you know, it's cool. I'm gonna rock out for a second on the amazing uh, tunes I'm listening to with these headphones. For those of you who don't know, the headphones are actually playing a, uh, it's a melange of language. It's like all the translators at the UN together. At the same time. At the same time. Translating the same thing? Well, it, it doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't, right. But it, it sounds like you're in a crowded room full of people talking, which is almost the case sometimes. But it, you can't hear anything. At are they time. talking about the first democratically elected prime minister of Hungary? <laughs> at any point? Are they talking about that? He was big at the UN. <laughs> Yoshef and Tom. You're going to be seeing that in puzzles constantly. Okay, Tyler, yeah, this is okay. done. He's like, why so not, a little shimmy. Why not take just a look through all of them? <laughs> look at all those great consonants in that puzzle. I mean, K's and C's. How it's many O's puzzle. are there? V's. Truly, if you look at the diagonal going across, all those letters score like three or four points in scrap. Cameron is really a remarkable puzzle and worth another round of applause. Yeah. Tyler's going to use the next 11 minutes. <laughs>
They are all correct. We've had some close finals before, but never by one second. In third place. One second? Yeah. I remember that one. I remember that one. Yeah, he remembers that. Yeah. Uh, in third place, perfect in eight minutes and 54 seconds, is Tyler Hinman. Second place, perfect in five minutes and 25 seconds, is Paolo Castro. And our champion this year, perfect in five minutes, 24 seconds, is Dan Fair.